we opened, I, I was a little isolated and I wasn't doing as much, wasn't getting out of the house as much, but Seagull's Pathways is just, just, it really is a great place to, to come and break out of the uh, isolation you can sort of fall into and it, and it without without it I don't know what I'd be doing I, I really um, it's the most welcoming place I've ever walked in the door I like to say it really is a lot of people who have serious mental illness to come out of hospitalizations um, looking for a place to go they are holed up in their houses with a lot of anxiety about interacting with other people and how the outside world will stigmatize them for having a mental illness. And one of the goals of Seacoast Pathways is to help dispel that stigma. One in four people worldwide are affected by mental illness. Of that, one in 17 are affected by chronic persistent mental illness that requires clinical care. Social isolation is one of the most devastating effects of mental illness. Yet, the reverse is equally true. Social connectedness helps people to be healthy. This is what Seacoast Pathways brings. We are the social side, the side of developing one's interests, strengths, and confidence to regain the ability to get back into society and to move on with one's life. My goal is to build up relationships with people more because with my bipolar, I tend to isolate myself more. But I don't want to do that anymore, so they're helping me open up more. Membership at Seacoast Pathways is open to anybody who's in treatment for a mental illness. There's no cost to being a member of Seacoast Pathways. Once someone's a member, they can come as frequently as they like. My case manager suggested it from Seacoast Mental Health so I could be busy doing, to have a structured day instead of just sitting home all day on the couch to being bored. So that's how I heard of this. When a person uh, becomes a member of Seacoast Pathways, they are um, asked to participate in a work activity uh, that helps run the clubhouse. Typically, those work activities involve being in the kitchen, preparing meals, planning the menu, or doing other uh, aspects of hospitality. The other unit is business, which involves uh, doing aspects of data keeping, record keeping, attendance, uh, perhaps they're writing for the newsletter or writing our in-house newsletter, The Daily Scoop or they might be providing outreach services into the community. For the people who have lost hope, there is hope out there for you. Never give up. Seacoast Pathways is wonderful, and there's always hope, and this takes a lot of time, but you just have to be patient.